Hi, MTV. I'm Ivana Santilli, singer-songwriter. Welcome to my house. You can come on in. I got food waiting for you. I do. I really do. We're in the foyer right now. This is heated floors, and they're marble from Italy. It's really nice in the winter. You can come out here and just warm your feet. And this is going to be my favorite room of the house. You can come in here. This is my father, Ivan. Since the Italians won, he doesn't smoke anymore. This is my mother. She's French Canadian. And this one, too. She's a hottie toddy. I got it from my mama, my mama. OK, so this is pretty much the meat of the house, where I like to spend most of the time. And honestly, this is where the magic happens. First of all, I'm making pizzas. One big mistake that people make is they think that pizza has tomato sauce on it. Now, that's just completely manja cake. That's just wrong. You're supposed to take as fresh as the tomatoes as you can get. You crush them, put garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, basil, and parsley. I can't believe I gave away my secret. And by the miracle of MTV, there'll be a pizza ready in about one second. This is the vegetarian pomodoro pizza, and this is the potato garlic pizza. All I gotta tell you is that they're no joke. This is the Okay, so now I'm gonna show you inside the fridge. One of the most important things, my absolute favorite food is fruit. Fruits and vegetables, olives, an absolute necessity. This is my new addiction. I absolutely love dark chocolate. 70% and above is absolutely necessary. If you can give me 90% cocoa, then we're in business. Milk chocolate is for suckers. I think we're done with the fridge right now. But there is another secret storage room that I have to show you. This is the cantina. These are homemade jarred tomatoes. If you're any good Italian whatsoever, you need tomatoes all year round. There's some wine in here and nothing else that you have to see. So if you've noticed already, this place is pretty much open concept. And this is kind of the dining room area where we eat, talk, drink, laugh, joke, sleep, whatever, do everything. I've actually sneaked a peek at MTV Cribs before, and I've noticed that people always have Cristal. Let me tell you something about Cristal. That is child's play. I've got the stuff. It's called Centerba, which literally means 100 herbs. And when it's fermented, it's fermented with no sugar whatsoever, and you'll see. This would last you about a month's worth of uh, inebriation, I would have to say. I like my liquor strong, strong. <laughs> this is my keyboard. This is the Rhodes. I have a theory about this keyboard. I think that it was sent from the heavens to harmonize the earth. I actually truly believe that, because when I play this, everything feels right. It really does. See what I mean? Aren't you guys all feeling better now? We're gonna come into the living room area right now. A good friend of mine had that enlarged for me from a, a rare jazz magazine. This is a flutaki rug, and it's really comfortable. It actually, it actually doubles as a seating area along with these, these pillows. We've knocked out the old windows and made a very large window because I like a lot of light. And this is actually a scrim that goes up and down so that we can keep an eye on the neighbors. We should head upstairs, right? All right, I'm gonna take you into the bathroom area. It's in full view of the bed. This is what I really love about it. Kind of sexy, right? This is an old cover of Playboy magazine, 1963. I really like vintage magazines, and I think I prefer pornography from the 60s and the 70s, because I think it's really tastefully done. And that's what I look like when I'm taking a shower. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Right over here is the bedroom. 
Okay, this is my closet. No doors, nothing to hide. I really like hats. Really big, dramatic ones. Kind of like that. I really like vintage clothes because I think there's like a lot of, a lot of personality to it and a lot, it's really unique. As I go back and forth between the US and Canada, I have a real issue at customs sometimes. So I wear this to prove that I'm Canadian to the American immigration, to prove to them how much I love my country. This, this was one of my favorite magazines. It's, it's a magazine called Suede, and it was founded and, and conceptualized by a couple of Canadians, and I thought it was an incredible magazine. Music all the time. Music is absolutely necessary. Okay, coming off the master suite is the patio. And one of the things I really love about the patio is that there's this really good view of the CN Tower, just to remind me where I am. All right, so now that we've eaten, drank, slept, showered, hung out on TV, take care. Thank you for coming over, and see you very soon. My album's called Tony. Stay tuned for more.